everyone, so today I thought I would bring you along into the studio because I thought I'd give a shot at some abstract painting. In the Starving Artist Tag video, which was a few videos ago, um, I did actually mention that I wanted to try more abstract work and so I think I'm going to have another little crack at that today and see how it goes. So I have actually been a bit poorly and I don't know if I'm quite feeling up to doing a whole painting so I'm going to start it, see how it goes. If I don't get it finished today then it doesn't matter. So I've just got a lovely calm atmosphere and I'm just going to have like a really relaxed painting session today. So I hope you enjoy this video. Your voice was too about like an hour and a half since I started this painting and it's pretty much lunchtime now so I'm gonna have a little break give my eyes a little bit of a rest and just get some lunch and you know chill out for a little bit I don't know how I feel about it so far um, I really am enjoying doing the abstract part of it because it's all quite new to me sort of taking bits and bobs well I'll explain the process of how I've come up with the idea. So basically I've got about three photos of different floral arrangements and then I'm taking like bits and bobs from each one and then sort of overlapping different ones at like different parts of the photograph onto all the flowers and yeah I'm just trying it just so it does look floral but it doesn't look like a copy of something from real life if that makes sense so it's still sort of impressionistic which is like my favourite style of painting so I kind of 
I kind of just trying it and just see what happens. I'm not like, you know, I don't know, it's just like an experiment. I think the process of making art is a lot more important than the final product. That is like what I always think, but at the same time it is good to like learn from things and to like what you've made so you're proud of it and stuff. So I don't really know how I feel, I think I'm going to have some lunch and then come back and see what I think to it then. So most of the paint that I've been using is either Darla Rowney Kryler Artist Acrylic or Windsor & Newton Artist Acrylic. Yeah I've got like a couple of different brands in there as well but mainly that's what I'm using today. I do actually quite like the Kryler ones because they're very like thick, very heavy body. So it just makes it like really stiff and so it's not just like a gloopy mess everywhere because I like um, paintings where you can see the brush strokes. So this like holds the brush strokes fairly well for an acrylic. I've also um, got some of these which are roses which have like obviously started dying. I just find them so beautiful. Like am I the only person, like am I weird who finds actually like dying roses prettier than like really brand new alive ones because they're just so fragile and kind of like sad but very romantic. Oh I've just got paint on it. Oh wow. So while I'm just enjoying my green smoothie I'm going to do some emails and catch up on some admin work. Hey guys so it's about two o'clock now. Uh, I kind of got lost as I was like replying to emails and stuff. I remembered a project that I had to get done today. So now I have to package this phone case up um, for somebody that bought one on Etsy. Um, again, I'll put the link down below if you would like one of these cases. They're really, really nice quality. I actually have had mine on for about two years now. It was when I first got my phone. And it's still like fine and um, but the colour doesn't come off even if it gets scratched which I think is really really good. I do them for like all different phone case sizes so if you don't see yours listed there in the Etsy listing and um, just give me a little message or something and I will reply back to you whether I make it for that model or something. And they make great presents as well guys. <laughs> just now and also I've just packaged up the painting of the giveaway which was my last video um, the winner is Leela Gunville so congratulations Leela and that will be coming to you very very soon in the post so again I want to thank everybody who entered the giveaway I really really do want to thank you there was a lot of you in the end so uh, I'm sorry there could only be one winner but you know I will do more giveaways in the future so hang tight on that one um, I also wanted to talk to you guys about selling your art online. It's a question that I get like every day pretty much from you guys and so many of you really really want to start selling your art but you don't know, you kind of may have started a little bit but you're not quite sure what direction you want to take in and how to really drive in them sales. Um, so I wanted to talk about this workshop that I'm actually taking part in. Um, I can't believe it when I got the email that they asked me to be like a presenter almost kind of thing at this workshop and it's very very exciting so basically the I'm gonna read it off here because I can't remember all the details but it's a three-day live online workshop and it's called selling your artwork online and so basically that's what it's all about how to actually do that it's all about how you can set up your shop and it will help you to like get a plan together of exactly how to start selling your work online. I also think that it will probably give you a really really good idea about what is actually involved in doing it because a lot of people just think that I personally sit at home and paint all day where that's actually couldn't be further from the truth. 
when you're selling art online you've got to have an online presence an emotional like community even I mean you guys support me so much like every single comment really spurs me on and makes me feel good about what I'm doing and it's about building that little community so it will talk and it will give you like a really thorough idea of exactly what is involved in that. I also wanted to tell you guys about it now because if you sign up before November the 1st, if you use the discount code Katie Jobling with a capital K and a capital J, I'll put all this information in the description box if, you know, can't remember it. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you sign up before November the 1st, you can save $30 on this course. So, I mean, that's quite, quite a lot of money really, so I think it's worth it if you're thinking about doing something like that to get it booked. <laughs> Did you guys hear that ka-ching sound? Basically that happens when you sell something on Etsy. <laughs> I'm talking about selling your work online and that's proof that it works, you know guys? So there you go. <laughs> it is a live streaming thing, so I'll be on camera live, but if you can't make that live date, it doesn't matter because you will have it all recorded and you can watch it like literally for the rest of your life however many times you want you will always have that content available so yeah I, what i'll do is i'll put the link down below in the description box that you can if you want to have a look at it basically and all the information will be on there so yeah that's that that is that and i'm fully aware that some of you watching now this will be like a long time in the future in which case the workshops already happen so <laughs> again i'm hoping to do more of them in the future. So what now, what now, what next? I'm wearing this like proper um, baggy jumper because it's really cold. It started off really, really warm today and now it's just like raining and it's gross and I'm just snuggled up in this jumper, which is actually my mum's and I kind of stole it because it's like, I borrowed it once and it was so snug that I was like, yeah, I'm keeping this. <laughs> so uh, yeah, thanks mum. So now I'm just going to find the cards that I sold it earlier when you heard that ka -ching, and wrap them up ready to go in the mail again. show you um, these as well which I did last night um, for a friend who's having a little baby um, so I mean obviously everybody knows Beatrix Potter she is an incredible artist and so I made some of her little drawings um, for the baby's room I will show you up close used watercolour um, for the colours because they're obviously very very soft colours. Then I used um, this ink oh, to go around the edges which is just Windsor & Newton Indian ink. Um, I, th I like the, I mean in the originals from Beatrix Potter her lines were quite, I mean if you can see here on Peter Rabbit the lines aren't all equal so if I'd have just gone around with a black pen it would have meant that all the lines were equal whereas Going over it with ink um, gives this nice inconsistency to the line, which makes it just seem, just gives it a really nice effect, I think. And then obviously, because I love hedgehogs, I think that's, is it Mrs. Tiggy Winkle, I think her name is. So if you're not already clued up on Beatrix Potter, you should definitely Google her, because her work is absolutely incredible. I think there's a film about her as well. Well, I don't think there is a film about her, because I've seen it. <laughs> um, which gives you like a really cool insight into her life and what her personality was like. So yeah, if you've not seen the film, it's definitely worth a watch. I think it's called Mrs. Potter. So I'm gonna go and stir the curry, which I'm making for tea for me and Nathan. And then I think I am going to go to the gym as well. Thank you so much guys for coming to the studio with me today. It was really good fun and I hope you enjoyed it. So love you lots and I'll see you in the next video. I've never felt worse like